Okay, hybrid picking and chicken picking, duck picking overseas, I think is what they call it. I heard a guy come up to me one time in Norway and said, I like what you play on the guitar. It's a typical duck picking. And uh, me and the bass player horse laughed the guy until he was so embarrassed he left the room. But I thought it was a good name. So I've called it duck picking myself. I don't know if it's going to catch on over here, but I, I like it. I like it a lot. Anyway, hybrid picking is pick and fingers, and I think we touched on some of that with the rolls and the uh, kind of even rhythm playing where you're comping the whole chord with your pick and fingers at the same time, where like piano plays all the notes at once when they play. To me, that's kind of the sound more that you're shooting for when you play that kind of a comping rhythm. So the same when you're playing uh, double stops in a chicken picking thing where you're going. You're hitting everything all at once, pick and fingers. So you get that sound. That's part of it. And then the uh, pick and the finger thing going. That can be all pick. Or picking a finger. You hear that on some stuff where they alternate steadily and climb up with a scale. three at once and there I'm playing a C chord then a B minor with the wrong fingers a minor G but I'm just playing the D G and B string pick on the D string only for the whole passage second finger on the G third on the B this I'm playing, if you got skinny fingers, you'll play it as an A minor shape, uh, like that. I can't do that because I'm, if I need the A string, I can't, it's in the way, too much sausage. So I use it with two fingers. That's how I play my A minor and my E chord. So if you're going, what's he doing? How's he getting that? That's what it is, is I'm covering two strings with one fat finger. So I play the C, B minor, A minor to G. And I'm striking them all at once, two fingers and a pick. So use that and I guess it's a hybrid, a mixture of both of those, chicken picking and the, and the fingers and pick as a cording technique. Um, I like mixing and matching all of it in a solo because uh, it gives me more variety and I'm not just chicken picking, plucking, doing the for the whole solo. I'm breaking it up by giving it maybe some other double stop sort of a those kind of things where you can just slide around. Then do the double thing where you're going steady. Then I'm going to do the little steel lick, that one we did uh, with uh, Together Again. That's f if I was playing in the key of G, that's the D is the five. Five, four, three, two, one. But I'm using the one and the three of that chord. I go then three of them 
So I'm mixing it up. I've got the steel lick, then I've got a double stop. And then I could climb up. Then. And for the fast kind of picking things, there's a uh, chicken picking. is always really staccato, fast sounding, uh, blunt, short bursts of notes where you're playing. Uh, and a lot of that sometimes is another technique to use is using all the pick where you're going. kind of giving a ghost note where I'm going and I'm playing, putting my finger there in case I make a mistake, it sounds like I'm playing the scale going, which is another thing to practice. But I could go fake note, just to get that sound, and at a high speed, that sort of sound. You can put in a bit of a scale to get a chicken picking sound if you're using a pick and a finger. You could play something that was finish with a and that's just the scale like that but every chance I can I'm gonna go picking a finger and there with that technique each time you hit a note, I stop it. Every time I hit a note, I'm stopping that note real quick so I can hit the next one with either the pick or the finger. a bunch of kind of chicken picking sort of sounds that uh, can help you or sink you. <laughs>